Ramana Maharaj said that when we walk into the house, it is the house of God. God does as He pleases in His house. Just like we do what we please in our house, God does as He pleases. And He doesn't want us to limit Him and program Him. He's the one that wants to program us. And this morning, the Lord wants to mend families. God wants to put families together while the devil is trying to separate. Please do not be ignorant of Dr. Ram this morning, Proverbs chapter 3. My child! Can I get it? Put it up. A verse 1. This is so powerful. I have read Proverbs chapter 3 and I almost start from verse 4. From verse 5, I start from every time. But this morning, when I read the whole chapter, I put my eyes on these stuff. I said, My son, do not forget my laws. If he said, My son, not to forget it, the law because he was teaching. Oh, yeah, I hear it. Because he was teaching his son the laws. So, the, so he said, his son, don't forget what I taught you. Parents, you need to begin to teach them. I said, you need to begin to teach them. I said, you need to begin to teach them. They are not too big. As long as they want your roof, teach them. He said, but, but let your heart keep my commands. For a length, for a length of days. And long life. Not only that, and peace he will have to you. So what I'm teaching you from the word of God is a hard length of days. If you want to die in 22 years, it's going to have to you. I said, I have to you. And not just long life, you need to have a life of peace. You want to have a peaceful life. And everything around you is confused, but because you, 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 you did not forget my law, it's going to bring you peace. They will have to you. Then you will always say, let not mercy and truth forsake you. Show mercy. Be truth. Bye. 
Lord company destroys good things of you. You have the Lord good in you. Your children have a lot of good in them also. But watch the company. I said, so, Lord, don't be ignorant. Speak like David. Tell them, don't forget my teacher. Look at me. Let her go now. Look at me. Is he sharing a look at me? It's not for her. It's not for her. Let her go down in her mind. Free her mind now. Free her mind now! I said free her mind now. You have no power over her today. Today we take a party. I said we take a party. I said we take a party. Every bad influence over our life. We crush it. I said we crush it. I said we crush it. What's the name of Nika? You're free. Only oh, God, be free in your spirit. Be free in your spirit. Every bad influence. And there is a lot. I said there is a lot. I said there is a lot. That demon that is following you, that came from where we come from today, you're liberating our mind. It's our mind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Bow. Bow to the name of Jesus. He. You have to work with this. You have to work with this. You have to work with this. Yes, we have to work. We don't lose you if we don't work with you. You need to listen. That's the best thing about listening. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You need to speak. What is it? You see, sometimes deliver some truth speaking. And the thing is that you know. If you don't know, it's okay. I will repeat. But you know. God, when Jesus went to God, so what do you want? You have to know what you want. Father, every family is us. Every family, single mothers, husband and wife, fathers and mothers and children. I seal them. I seal them. Say that you will not have one, not even one of them. Not even one of them. Not even one. We not even give you one. Why? Because we have power over your words. And this morning, Destroy your works. We destroy your parents. Every evil parents you have to separate your family. Mothers and children. Fathers and children. Fathers and their mothers. In the name of Jesus, we crush it. I said we crush it. I said we crush the parents of the enemy. We destroy your parents. And we stand on the top of the word of God. And we say nothing. Tell you no one is more than nothing. No brand, no attack. No evil company. We pull them out. I said we pull them out. I said we pull them out. From every evil company. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We bless. We bless this young man. In Jesus' name. We pull him out of every evil company. Every desire of mixing with the wrong people, we pull him out. We destroy those desire. And he will have a desire for God. He will have a desire for the things of God. 
Yes, 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 yes. And he will be all that God has called him to be. Yes, he will be. Yes, he will be. All that God calls you to be. Nothing. We said nothing. We said it in part of the word of God. And we said no evil company because right now you're being put out and your mindset, your desire has changed for what is right, what is good. Your desire will be for God. I said your desire will be for God. Let not mercy and truth save you, sir. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the table of your heart. And you will find favor and highest esteem. In the sight of God and of man. So I bless them in Jesus' name. Bless them. You're blessed. You're blessed. Sorry, you, Granny. I'm a good friend of the two of them. This is your mom. Hey, Granny. This is my mom. Come on, go, go. Come on, go, 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 go. My daughter is not for it. Not for it. I spoke. God was in the city that I was watching. That was sweet. I got to the peace one. A special one, I'm looking for grace. A special one. The enemy always fight with his own children. To God be the glory. How can children do? How can children tell how much you love them? The children tell him how much you love them. Come on. Every one of you, send them out to the Don't let me tell you what I say. Tell you what something nice. And why the promise of Mama says, Mama, I'm going to buy a house for you. I'm going to buy a house for you. Come on, tell me, Mama, I'm going to buy a house. You see, what you're doing, you're getting the life of our impact with words. I'm going to buy a house. Mama, I said, How do you buy a house for Mama? I said, No, what will happen? I'll let you do it. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Change. Like 
Jesus. That's all God is. He will never ever force nothing on us. He gave us a free chance and he's begging us choose my word and live. Choose my word and live. Choose my word and live. Brothers and sisters, the word has nothing to offer us. Nothing to offer us. All that the word has out there is destruction. And if today we choose to live the way God said to live, everything for us changes. God is a reward. God, my brothers and sisters, is a reward. Though. I encourage you to choose him. When we choose that as of this day, we will go God We are going to deny S E L S. We will deny S N E S H. Flesh and self. It already supposed to be crucified. And if today we sell the flesh, we are putting you on the desires where it belongs. And as of this day, I choose to be a fool and take every single thing change. God is a God of the system. God is a reward. I will share one testimony before I go into the word of God to encourage your heart. I said, God is a reward of those that diligently seek Him. This God is real. I said, This God is so real. He brings me to tears at times how He is so holy. I had an appointment for my son. I put down and I was here six months ago. And I speak to it. He said, prophesy, I prophesy. I get up, but five months wants to something, and I said, it's time for this, those here of the past. It's time for them to answer. One afternoon I finished working and I was lying on the floor drafting. But I always keep my phone next to me. I heard my phone ring and there was a voice of one call me. She said, Madam, take a pen and a paper. She said, write this information down. This is your appointment. Take it. Brothers and sisters, when I stand here, I am speaking. From my experience to encourage you in the ways of God. He is a reward to brothers and sisters. When we choose to hold God with it, according to his word, he stops it to not tell them hell and take up what God gives to you. The enemy will not stand against you and the children rise and make God with you. It's a I write down what the woman, what the brothers and sisters, I hear clearly. This woman tells me, Pastor, no safety from safety. No. Says, far from this. Marry different to Bethlehemia. I heard the woman tell me, Mercury, decent man, I deserve. The woman repeats, Five times and I write. She said, Come with these things. I said, Okay. I go to my workplace, sit here the day that I was working and switch it so I can go with my son. Brothers and sisters, Tuesday night I get working. I do it sports. I am a first friend, but I tell you, when I got this to do, it's your own. No, there is no I hear the phone ringing at 10 to 5. Running up by my answer. When I look, the people calling me. Choose me. I said, What? I said, What are you doing today? I answer. When I answer, the woman said, Ma, Pastor, 
Yeah. <laughs> 
years old, married. They have four years old. They have a twin. They have six years old. And they have a blind. But suddenly, 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 suddenly. And this one happened. Suddenly, the rapture is in you. Suddenly, suddenly. I am so fearful. I get so fearful. And then suddenly, the rapture is terrible as a sister. And when you left home to walk, I don't know which one to walk. And I drive it and I care a and I am preparing myself every second. Because there is too much of evil. God said, my people, if they only know what is coming, they would want to force you. Nothing more is coming on the earth. Nothing cold. Nothing cold is coming to the earth. Nothing good is coming. You want to stay not to sick and trip. I am sorry for you all because you poor sick is over the world through it and now. This morning, the Lord is saying, it's time. We put our flesh where it belongs. It's time to put our flesh where it belongs. We are dying with Christ. And that flesh is supposed to be dead. We are not supposed to be living according to our flesh. Brothers and sisters, when we wake up this morning, I am going to tell you, sir, we feel like today, Son of God. I feel like the afternoon is not of God. The desire of the flesh is supposed to be tired because you are buried with Christ Jesus. No longer the flesh is supposed to be living and rising. No longer. No longer, brothers and sisters. If the leader stands and says, forgive, you know the essence. I know I like Sister Rachel. I like Sister Rachel. You want me. I choose to live for God today. I thought so much of God about you. I am asking for forgiveness. Torn with Pastor said, forgive me for me. It's flesh, brother and sister. Flesh. We need time for forgiveness. No one need. Forgive work. Forgive work. Go on. Are we going to have a bath? We are going to have a foot. Because we can't come in front because she will have a front in the nation. God is speaking to us. God don't want not one of us perish on the surface of God. Because God knows exactly what is the last eternal thing. As I was telling my children to my own past, they were just I tell the son, I say, hey, heaven gives you hope. I say, whenever, whoever died in the deceit, they came you out. Come, and master come. I say, choose to go with God. I say, everything about you. So, hell and whoever they are waiting to, for so in the big pit. I said, if you are going there, you could go. Brothers and sisters, it's a serious thing. Do not take Christianity as no joke. I get up this morning, I just come to church, we can sing to a few songs, but I'm going to pray for me, and we're going to go home. Christianity is the new life. It's heaven, it's a new home. Heaven is a country that's where you will be living. Where you will be living for the rest of your life. If you live a part of the world, if that hell is the damn country, hell is a country, and there you will be living, you live in a walk, you live in a fire. You don't want to walk, I tell you, you don't want to walk. Since so time we get into religious attitude, religious behavior, possession here with the law and commandments. This is what we are living by. Back in the world, 
period for the Gentile clothes. Brothers and sisters, like when we eat mango, if we eat mango and we throw the seed, we can't have no mango tree. But so long as we take that mango tree, when we are finishing it and we plant it, you see, at times it takes time. At times it depends on the fall time of the ground. Sometimes some mango tree will be to the fast, sometimes it grow so hard. You want to go plant a mango seed, you do go to it. And you see, don't come out. You're digging, and you're digging, and you're so ready, man. And you see that. But so the way you dig up, that seed is right here, waiting on that time to cause food. It is just like us as Christians. Some of us, we will answer the call of God quickly. Some may not have a mind yet. Yes, we might come into church, but still yet. But Jesus said, Leave the weep and the tears, let them grow together. He said, He is the one that will bring his angels and they will separate him. So, whoever is coming, let us welcome each and everyone with a heart. And Jesus died for the world, not for me alone. For you alone, you die for the world. Each and every one has a piece of that cake. If he did not die, he was in the Lord. But he died, and we know we have been resurrected, brothers and sisters. It's the same way with us. Some of us, we put that world to work, it worked quickly. Some it's going to take a little time. But God is saying, now is the time that we must make up our minds. A lot of us, we still may be in my I will see. Now is that time to see, brothers and sisters. It's time we come out of our fleshy desires. We keep, we keep hatred in our heart. We are still in the flesh. We can't like our brothers and sisters. We are still in the flesh. That means we must not be there with Christ as yet. And we're supposed to. Because so long as we go down with him, we have been resurrected with him. That old nature has been buried. As when we write up, we say, Every man be in Christ. He is a new picture. Behold, all things become new. When he said all things, he means all things. He means the whole life has been buried there. So when we go to God, God has to be no longer. Because it has been buried. It's already been buried. Your present, now and have already been buried. All I have seen is a new page. A new you. Live new. That's what he said. Live according to the new life. You get to the smile. You don't feel like you're going to church. You feel like that. This is the last Get rid of it. Get rid of it. brothers and sisters, we as parents are soon. Our leaders can teach our children according to the word of God. We got to live according to the word of God and then teach them. We got to live totally to the word of God and then teach them because they are watching our life. We can't live it anyhow and we want to tell them how to live according to We got to do it first. Have to. So it has started with us as spirits. By the commandment of our deck, start to live. And even our children, there was a hmm, something changed about mommy. Something changed about papa. Day of the silver star of silver. Your work will be more easily. More easy. But you don't want to live according to our work. You don't want to possess the dying and you want to correct them. Don't smoke. Um, if you go by a pharmacy, you take a child for me. You're telling them to smoke, but you're telling them to buy 
secret is that you're putting the jack for watch to get the thing tossing it. I said, oh, to why you? How are you to put milk in front of a cat that is dodgy?
que abre as outras. Daniel é uma conta se ele se tem mal vindo. Tu come de church, tu come de cena e come de servir. Vem como eu tenho em casa, mas não, eu não tenho em casa. Eu tenho que olhar para você, eu tenho que olhar para você. Eu tenho que olhar para você, eu tenho que olhar para você. Eu tenho que olhar para você. Bible says, "Let our lives, this life that we live in, as a Christian, people must see for all the works that God will be glorified." And Jesus said, "Now is the time for me to be glorified. Now is time for us to be exalted. Now is time for us to go out there with our life and bring the people in." Say. Peace. 
Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. You see all these things in this three scriptures there? They say, if, 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 then you do not know it for sure. If then you are raised with Christ, see those things which are above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God too. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. He said, let's do that. 
that where I am, there my sorrow will be also. So you can't let any of them expect that when the rapture comes your God, or if Jesus comes, you're going with him. Yes, you're going, but you understand? Where does my good and faithful servant end in him? But you, out into all the darkness. But Jesus, we do this in your name. You're sure you did not serve me. As if you serve me, you will not follow and live according to my teaching. He said, if anyone serve me, him, my father, will honor. The apostle Paul said, me, I have won what I have do. I have run my race with patience. He said, there's a crown waiting for me. He said, not only me, and you are so. Brothers and sisters, nothing that we do for God will go unpaid. Let us store up our riches of deal. Don't let poor on earth and the same level be poor in heaven that you be in that We could start from today. God does not look age. Cause when Moses is sad and he is taking Moses over. Then 40 years he Moses in training for one of the only children in Israel. God does not start age. God starts with a heart that is made up and say, well, God today I turn and I'm going to live only for you and walk in your will and your will. Say, okay, you ready? Let me go. But so that's the man you need to God is doing nothing with you. He said, look for a broken heart. You know what is broken? A heart that is totally broken is a heart that will regret the past life. I'm ready to go with Jesus. Ready. If not, you're going to win. You have nothing to get. First Corinthians chapter 7. First Corinthians chapter 7. First Corinthians chapter 7 from verse 21 to 24. First Corinthians chapter 7 from verse 21 to 24. It says, Were you called by a slave? It's a question. Do not be concerned about it. But if you can be made free, rather use it. 22. For he who is called in the Lord while a slave is the Lord's free man. Likewise, he who is called while free is Christ's slave. 23. You are bought at a price. Do not become slaves of men. 24. Brethren, let each one remain with God in that state in which he was called. The Lord of fathers and he has set us totally free. Be a slave for Christ Jesus and stay in that state and with that calm, brothers and sisters. Do not go back into bondage. If I the state of your life will be worse than what it was before. But I am encouraging you this morning, my brothers and sisters. God is the reward of those that diligently seek Him. Whatever you need for the physical life, when you start to focus on your spiritual life, God is going to add everything to take. To you, God, He said in His word, seek forth in His kingdom and His righteousness, and everything will be added. But in the other scripture, He said, everything pertaining into life and godliness, He has already given to us free. Today, brothers and sisters, He has set that table before us. Everything for life and godliness is on that table. 
Would you come and take and sit and die and have eternal life? Or will you draw back and go to a last eternity? So, today, brothers and sisters, I encourage you to be asking them the question Where do you want to spend the rest of your life? Either with Jesus or in a last eternity. I love you and love with you. Amen. We prophesy to you that that will not be your case. You are going to live eternity with the Father. Amen. I said you are going to live eternity with the Father. Did you observe that in a sweet eternity, you need to be in the choice. You, all of us, everyone on earth, every human being, will live forever. But there's two places. You want to live forever with him? Send holiness to the witch, come out and see him and be with him. Then there's another place we will live forever, that is the lake of fire. So you will live forever anyhow, but it's just the choice. But I pray this morning you made the right choice. God said in the book of Deuteronomy, today I place before you life and death. And he encourages us. He said, choose life and live. Not only you will live, but you and your family. I pray this morning that you choose life. I pray this morning you choose to live your eternity with Him. With Him. And it's, it's, it's so true that this word, what is coming, this word has nothing to do with all. Do you know this morning in Jamaica? They had a shootout in the church. One guy, four angel. These are the news you hear every day. Where people are being shot, people are being killed, people are being murdered, people are just dying uselessly. What is your choice? We don't want, I don't want you to go home without giving an opportunity to receive Jesus. To receive this life. This everlasting life that has been offered to us. Jesus said, unless the sea die, it stands alone. He was speaking of his death. And he died. So we can receive everlasting life. We can receive eternal life. That's why the Bible said in Romans 10, if we confess for God, we believe in the Lord that God has raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Salvation is not for a special type of people. Salvation is for anyone that needs it. What is your choice? What is your choice? What is your choice? I pray this morning you make the right choice. Because it's our truth. The time is near. I want to encourage you to go home and watch your news and see what is happening all around you in this world. Jesus is the me. Jesus said in Matthew 24, when you see these things happen, that means he knows. There would have been technology today where we can see. In those days, they could not have seen anything. They were only hearing. But now today, we can see. When you put your TV on, what are you seeing? Nothing nice. Scripture being fulfilled. War. You shall hear about war and rumors of war. There are wars and rumors. Rumors mean in fact, it's just a rumor. And we hear about a lot of rumors that, that China is going to attack Taiwan and America 
was going to do this. You see, I'm not watching the news, y'all watching the African picture. African picture can help you. Watch the video. He said, when you see these things, know that the time is near. I know for sure the time is near because I'm looking at the seal. Hallelujah. I said, I'm seeing. When you, when, when you listen to, when you watch it in the news, you see every day somebody is killing somebody. Hello? I can't make your own country. Every day. I said every day. I'm talking about all in our own country. Every day. Some man can be white or can be woman. Man can be a man, can be a man, can be a man. And not only type of man. These things are, you have to open my God, but this is not any type of man. Brother, sister. The time is near. Okay, let's talk where we live now. People are dying like flies. And we just follow our hands. And we say, mm, sorry to them, you can be the next. But if they don't live the life, you don't have to live the life of a wild education. What will you tell the master? Brother, sister, tomorrow is promised to none of us. So I don't want you to go home. You have heard the word. You have heard the word. Jesus said, He who loves me will follow me. And he's calling you to follow me. He's calling you. Will you follow me? The message this morning is today. Choose where you want to spend your eternity. After death, there is still life. Because the truth of all is, you are not going to die. Your body will, but you will not. Are you getting ready? And you will not. That's what people don't understand. And that's what they say, oh, when I can, you will not die. Your body will going back to the earth. Well, you know, your body doesn't go back to the earth. Now they will go back to the earth one day because no flesh can go up. None, 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 none. We shall be changed. Are you hearing me? I hope I'm saying something. So you start that correctly, then the thing I did not say the old dress is not decorated like, like Christmas. Don't you realize? Hallelujah. Take care of the inner man. How are you here with me? The Bible says, let your beauty be of a good spirit, attitude, character that means so much to God. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, I'm not going to preach, but I'm giving you a chance to make a decision. I want you to know that every Sunday you leave your house to come to church, or every time you leave to come to church, God does not look at your face. He doesn't look with the clothes you put on. It can be Lacos, Ladios, Caros, whatever. He does, doesn't buy a regular palos. Koshi. He doesn't see it. He doesn't even see it. Brazilian hair, white hair, gray hair, black hair, no hair. He doesn't even watch at that. To our two teeth, to our eight teeth, no teeth. He doesn't see it. What he wants shall be the heart. Some of you look so beautiful outside with your hearts. Some of you look at nice apartment outside with your hearts. That's what he looks at. Wow. That's what he sees. My brothers and sisters, what is your choice? 
I'm going to come to the tree because you don't have any time to waste. If you're born in the world, you should know what? I know, I know. Because every person knows themselves. You have not accepted Jesus in your life. You have not received that eternal life within your spirit. And you know that if tomorrow doesn't sound for you, you know in the next hour, you no longer there. You know that you won't be making it. But I challenge you, I encourage you, I pray to you, make sure that when you leave this house, you are assured I'm going to make it. If you come and you receive this life, you cannot judge yourself of what you've done yesterday. You're not going to live up today. What, when you receive this life, what you do after? Comfortable. What you have done yesterday doesn't come. If you don't receive it, if you don't confess it, what you have done yesterday is still on your record. If you receive it today, what you have done the all before you came to church as he raised. And God is saying, Look, I'll give you a new page. Do you need that new page? Wherever you are, at the root of truth. If you need that new page, if you're upset in your heart, I want to live my, the rest or the, my eternity with Him is a choice. Have you made a choice? If you have, all you need to do, one thing, confessing your mouth, believing your heart. The God brings you to the dead, and the Bible says you are saved. Now, if you read, if you mean business and you need to receive that life, a lot of three come to the altar. You not going to come. One, two, three. That means all of you are saved and thank God for you. Hallelujah. So we will, if you don't see tomorrow, we we'll see up there. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.